位观众，大家好，欢迎收睇廿六分钟见证实录。今年全国多个省份都经历严峻嘅林火季节，其中发生喺卑斯省嘅林火，至今最少系烧毁咗省内超过二百万公顷嘅土地。省长尹大卫就更加形容卑斯省经历咗今个世纪最严峻嘅林火。而喺今年，省内嘅林火啊，就更加先后有两名消防人员喺救援期间不幸殉职。同时，今年发生嘅林火相比往年就更加猛烈。其中，八月发生喺杰隆拿嘅林火就影响广泛，省府亦都向全省发出紧急状态令。咁点解今年嘅林火相比以往会更加严重？当局又有啲乜嘢方法去应对未来嘅挑战呢？ Tonight, as a result of this rapid deterioration, we are declaring a provincial state of emergency to ensure that we have rapid access to any tools that we may need to respond to this situation. 省长尹大卫形容今年省入边发生嘅林火系今个世纪最严峻嘅林火，情况亦都系最差。受影响嘅民众又系点样度过呢一场林火咧？ It was the worst smoke we've ever had. It was like, you know, when you're camping and then the fire sort of shifts and it blows in your face. It was just like living in that constantly. It was so bad. We have first. We have to accept that we're looking at a future with more fire because of all the things we've already discussed. But that doesn't mean we should、uh, stop trying. <laughs> To reduce wildfire and its impact. This year, the country's more than half of the states have had fires that are so severe that they have been declared a provincial state of emergency. In addition, this year, the country's most severe fire has been recorded in Baixi State. According to the Baixi Fire Service, the total fire in the month of August has been recorded at more than 2,240 fires. The Baixi Fire Service has been recorded at more than 2,240 fires. The Baixi Fire Service has been recorded at more than 2,240 fires. The Baixi Fire Service has been recorded at more than 2,240 fires. The Baixi Fire Service has been recorded at more than 2,240 fires. The Baixi Fire Service has been recorded at more than 2,240 fires. The Baixi Fire Service has been recorded at more than 2,240 fires. The Baixi Fire Service has been recorded at 势一发不可收拾。喺八月十八号傍晚时分，卑斯省长尹大卫联同应急管理及气候准备厅长马伯文举行记者会，宣布卑斯省进入紧急状态。Just the last 24 hours, the situation has evolved and deteriorated quite rapidly. In just the last hour, we've gone from about 4,500 homes under evacuation to about 15,000 homes, families. Being evacuated from their homes across the province, we have tens of thousands more across the province on evacuation alert. Tonight, as a result of this rapid deterioration, we are declaring a provincial state of emergency to ensure that we have rapid access to any tools that we may need to respond to this situation. And these tools are necessary to support communities, to support families, and support those brave frontline workers. We're battling the fires in our forests and in our communities. 喺八月喺阿根纳近地区发生嘅林火，受强风影响，火场一度靠近民居十公里。一河之隔就系 Colona， 住喺嗰度嘅 Juliana Luan， 亦说当时嘅经过，佢话至今仍然记忆犹新。So we did not live、um, close to the fire, but my brother and all of our friends live like right where that fire started, and so. Immediately when we were realizing, okay, this fire is getting out of control. It was super windy that day.、Um, it was the perfect conditions for that fire to get out of control with how dry it was and just the wind. And so I was talking to my brother, and we're all just kind of watching it once it had jumped the lake. Um, yeah, that was such a residential area, and I have lots of friends even who lived in that neighborhood who were on vacation. And I was just messaging them like, "Do you have a neighbor who can grab, you know, your your belongings that you can't live without, kind of thing?" And、um, we had three families evacuate to our house just to get out of that danger zone. For us, it was、um, my brother. First of all, they were like, "We can see flames from our house, so we're gonna come and just get out of here now." I think they even left before the evacuation order started, but they were like, "We can see the fire. We need to get out of here." Um, and they have a little girl, so they just didn't want to be like waiting through the night and having to wake up every hour and be like, "Okay, what's the status?"、Uh, 
Um, and same with, we had three other families that were friends that were like, it was getting late at that point. They're like, we don't want to have to leave at two in the morning. We're just going to come now and get out of first responders way. So we did that, but we also like, cause we have a suite and we have extra bedrooms. And so we were just messaging out, like, if anyone needs a place to stay, like spread the word. A lot of it was done over social media and Instagram and just saying like, okay, you get a text from this person, like, for example, the people who were trapped in the water. Well, I have a friend who owns like a boat company downtown. And so it was like, okay, can you send your boats out to like, go and um, see if you can help the people who are trapped in the water by Trader's Cove. And everyone was just kind of communicating on social media and trying to get all the information together. 不过，由于受到强风嘅影响，林火烟雾渐渐开始飘到 Juliana 嘅屋企附近。最后，佢同佢嘅丈夫选择去到亚省卡吉利暂避。It was the worst smoke we've ever had. It was like you know when you're camping and then the fire sort of shifts and it blows in your face. It was just like living in that constantly. It was so bad. Um, so three days of that, and we were like, we can't do this anymore. So my husband and I are both teachers, so we're off for the summer. So we just left for Calgary. We just got in our car and drove away. And by the time we got to Calgary, it was it was blue sky, and we stayed on a friend's farm. Um, and we just had like our a box of stuff that if the fire did actually get to our house, someone could grab it. But We weren't too worried about that, but the smoke was awful, and I just was worried about like the kids and their little lungs and that kind of thing. So we just got out of town. 喺今年六月，联邦下议院通过 C 十八法案，即系线上新闻法，规定 Facebook 母公司 Meta 以及其他互联网公司必须向新闻媒体缴交一定嘅费用，先至能够转载内容或者提供相关链接。Meta 随即喺社交平台取消加国新闻服务，以回应联邦政府嘅措施，咁意味住本国国民唔能够透过 Facebook 或者 Instagram 传取加国嘅新闻内容。喺今年林火季节期间，唔少受影响民众都未能够。获取即时信息，总理杜鲁多亦都就事件批评 Meta 冇将公共安全放喺第一位。贝斯林木厅长赖志纯 Bruce Rustin 就话，省府已经有两手准备，将实时资讯发放俾民众。Well, I, I agree with you that、uh, Premier Eby and indeed the Prime Minister both、um, expressed a concern that the position taken by uh, uh, some of the social、uh, networks,、uh, such as uh, Facebook. Uh, Have、uh, really limited the flow of information that people have become accustomed to over in recent years, and they have expressed a concern that that those corporations may be putting their business interests ahead of public <coughs> ahead of public safety.、Uh, and、uh, the Premier Eby was very clear about that. So,、uh, if if you're asking me whether I agree with that, I do agree with it. But what I want to say is that. There are,、uh, and I think media outlets like yours are also stressing that people can go directly to you or directly to BC Wildfire Service, the app, to find out that information. They can't necessarily get it in the way that they could before because of the decision made by those big corporations. But、uh, I, I think going forward,、uh, we want people to have. Easy access to critical information that affects public safety, and that, given what has taken place uh, with uh, 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 Facebook and others,、uh, that that will be the way forward unless there's a change there. We have experienced some challenges, obviously, with the bill that you referenced. I, I know that、uh, the, the elected government. Right now, has did make a pitch to to Ottawa this summer in terms of trying to to get rid of that or or change it from an emergency perspective. That that obviously wasn't successful. So for us, it was really trying to drive people to our website, trying to drive people to our application, which is just BC Wildfire app in either of the app stores. We are populating that information hourly.、Uh, Minute by minute, if the changes need to be updated that quickly, and that is where we tried to drive BC to go and pull relevant fire information. Whether it was our fires of note page on bcwildfire.ca,、uh, we now have a YouTube channel.、Uh, we also have just、uh, the the wildfire application that I spoke of, which is an interactive map. You can report a fire in there. If you're in an area, you can see if fires are around you, so that you can make the appropriate decisions in terms of yours and your family's safety. So, 
it is a challenge that you know to get information out to all members of BC. As we know in British Columbia, we have some very rural and remote communities who don't have the same access as some of our urban centers. And so trying to use kind of all forms of media to try to reach those audiences, including you know interviews like this and, and attempting to work with media outlets to ensure that our information is getting to the public in all corners of BC. 住喺奇隆纳嘅 Juliana 就话：虽然受到 C 十八法案影响，不过佢仍然能够透过社交平台同朋友互相更新最新嘅林火情况，了解事态发展。It was fairly fast.、Um, I think the only thing that was frustrating this time was we had just passed Bill C-18, and so we weren't able to get some of our media on or our, some of our news on social media anymore, and that was frustrating because we wanted it just like in our hand, fast to like find the updates and like see the photos. And you know, some people fled their home, and then. Other people would have photos or videos of that area if they were on boats or whatever, and people just want to know, right? Like, is my house still standing? You know, or is my land okay? And so it was a little bit slower getting information because of that bill. We were a little bit frustrated by that. I mean, if we went directly to their websites, then we could get the news, but it was just annoying because we're used to this fast, like you know, just having it on Instagram or Twitter or whatever, and we just couldn't do that anymore. So it was a bit slower. 喺奇隆纳发生嘅林火，至今已经三个月。当地嘅林火已经喺较早之前受到控制，并且开展咗修复嘅阶段。I think we lost just under 200 homes, and Kelowna builds about 1,600 homes a year. So to add 170 more or whatever it is, I don't think that the building process will be slowed down very much.、Um, we've got a lot of trades here in the valley. But the one thing that I have heard is that people trying to rent in the meantime. So let's say their house burned down and now they need a rental.、Um, it's very hard to find a rental in Kelowna, especially a good one. I think a lot of people who lost their homes、um, on West Lake Road. It was like beautiful homes and people who are used to a very nice standard, and there just aren't a lot of homes for rent.、Um, so that was one thing I heard was that people were finding it a little bit difficult to find places to rent while they're rebuilding. I just talked to my cousin about this last night because he's、uh, one of the firefighters. Actually, this is his first year、um, doing firefighting, and so he was deployed. He said, right now, all they're doing is going around checking hot spots and like little, yeah, basically hot spots, putting them out. So we don't have any smoke anymore. Up until about a week or two ago, we still did, but we've had some rain lately, and so、um, they're very under control now. 今年嘅林火相比往年更加猛烈，咁究竟系乜嘢原因导致林火一发不可收拾啦？而气候变化又带俾我哋啲乜嘢启示啦？下次翻嚟再睇。欢迎翻嚟节目时间。气候变化系全球多个国家都关注嘅问题，而喺本国啊，每逢夏季期间嘅林火数目都会急速增长。咁究竟當局點樣應對氣候變化帶嚟嘅急速轉變呢？而當局又會點樣去應對未來嘅潛在挑戰呢？今年卑斯省發生嘅林火，先後奪去咗兩名年輕消防員嘅性命。喺九月更加有四名消防員喺高速公路撞車之後不治，消防裝備一度成為關注話題。林木廳長賴次常讚揚救援人員嘅努力，亦都為殉職嘅消防人員感到難過。The death of the young firefighter、uh, in Revelstoke, I, 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 Devon Gale, I attended the funeral.、Uh, Zach Muse, who was a, a forest worker in、uh, northeastern British Columbia, who was、uh, killed as well, I attended the, that funeral as well. And more recently, there were four、uh, contracted firefighters、uh, who were、uh, traveling after finishing their work in Vanderhoof in northern British Columbia. Traveling south,、uh, we're in a vehicle accident, which is still being investigated.、Uh, early in the morning,、uh, and four of them were killed as well. So it's been a very difficult and tragic summer.、Um, part of、uh, there'll be individual investigations of all of those deaths, whether it'll be the uh, uh, WorkSafe BC, the coroner service,、um, a police investigation. I'm not sure.、Uh, But those those deaths will be thoroughly investigated、uh, to discover what the causes of those deaths and make recommendations in the future. That too will be part of the task force that the premier has appointed. 
no one uh, we uh, we all deeply regret and it was uh, the, the the deaths of those uh, those all pretty young people um, uh, really uh, tragic uh, touching uh, ceremonies to uh, hear about the, the contributions that they'd made uh, and、uh, would have continued to make had they not died so tragically. 今年九月舉行嘅卑斯城鎮聯盟大會之後，卑斯省長尹大衛宣布一系列為各個地區消防部門提供支援，協助消防部門購買應對林火嘅裝備同埋推動培訓工作。卑斯林火服務處行動總監指出，喺未來推出一系列嘅培訓，將會大幅提高應對林火呢一類型嘅火災。不過，佢強調林火發展千變萬化，破舊工作有一定難度。We do have a robust safety and training、uh, program within BC Wildfire Service as it stands today. You know, we do we do a number of different courses, starting from your entry level, where you go to a, a very focused new recruit boot camp、uh, to get your initial foundational training, which is、uh, seven days locked in to to、uh, coursework and development work for all of our new recruits. Once you go through that, you get real experiential learning at the base in which you're assigned to, where you get to learn with your team. And then there's countless courses on top of that sort of experiential learning, whether it's danger tree assessment, whether it's our falling and chainsaw certifications, our incident command system training, which is like logistics plans, operations, incident commander. So, you know, to be to be really frank, we have hundreds of courses within BC Wildfire Service that were built to. Keep our people safe and give them the give them the knowledge they need to make the decisions on the land base to keep them and their people safe. Unfortunately, again, sometimes the conditions are such that、uh, even with all precautions being taken, there is still risk that can't be fully mitigated. And so, our our goal is to mitigate all the risks that can be mitigated,、uh, and realize that you know when people are out. Fighting fire, and they're all in these dangerous situations that they are supported to make the decisions they need to to keep themselves and their crew safe. 近年全球多國都面對住氣候變化嘅問題。根據卑斯省府嘅數字顯示，今年因為天然因素，包括閃電導致林火發生佔七成二，其他原因就涉及人為同埋未明嘅因素。卑斯大學醫學院副教授兼卑斯疾控中心高級研究員 Sarah Henderson 認為，今年林火特別嚴峻係由於卑斯省今年經歷乾旱天氣，再加上地形因素，助長咗林火嘅增加。So when we're talking about wildfire risk, climate change has an important role to play, but we also have to consider historic forest management practices. When Canada was first settled by Europeans,、uh, we started putting out wildfires because they are inconvenient. They burn down things that we don't want to be burned down. But prior to settlement. Canada was a very naturally flammable landscape where wildfire would move through the forests. In many cases, every thirty years or so. So, by suppressing wildfires for decades and decades, we have led. It has led to an accumulation of fuel on that flammable landscape. So, we just have a lot of fuel sitting on the land. Now, that fuel bubble or carbon bubble, as we call it. Is starting to intersect with these other climate drivers. So, like I said, the drought, the hotter weather, and the windier conditions. So we have all of that climate stuff happening, all of that fuel sitting there, and as a result, we're seeing these severe seasons. Henderson 又話：雖然林火季節初期唔少成因係因為人為導致，但再加上氣候變化同埋周圍環境因素，將林火面積大幅擴大。So in every year, some wildfires will be started by humans accidentally, for the most part, and some wildfires will be started by lightning. In many cases, the wildfires that are started by humans happen very close to human settlements because that's where humans are, which means that they can be easier to suppress than. Wildfires that are started by lightning, because lightning can strike anywhere. So what we often see is that human-caused wildfires are smaller than lightning-caused wildfires. Regardless, anything that creates fire under those very hot, dry 
windy conditions can rapidly turn into an unsuppressible wildfire. So it doesn't, in some ways, it doesn't matter. As humans, we do need to be very careful about any potential, starting any potential wildfires in wildfire season. But when it's hot, dry, and windy like that, any kind of spark can turn into a big wildfire. 一般人都會認為，每當林火燒盡樹木嘅時候，去到下年林火嚴重嘅情況就會有所改善。不過 ，Henderson 就唔同意呢一個講法。No, it is, it is not correct. Even though we had two million, more than two million hectares burned in British Columbia in 2023, we had、uh, many millions of more hectares that were not burned. And whenever people Tell me this or ask me about this. I always point to 2017 and 2018. So 2017, when that season occurred, was the most severe wildfire the season the province had ever seen. And I think everyone was like, "Oh, wow, great! That won't happen again." And then we had an even worse season in 2018. So what I always tell people is, we should go into every summer expecting that it might be the worst wildfire season we've ever seen. If it's not, that's great. But we should be have that attitude that it could be worse th- than the last record-setting season. 面对气候变化造成林火多种唔确定嘅因素，卑斯林木厅长话，省政府已经有多方面准备，应对每年嘅林火。What we did before this season, and actually in hindsight was a very good decision, was we、uh, increased dramatically the budget of BC Wildfire Service to make it. There's always a, a small group of people, a core of people who work year-round for BC Wildfire Service. This year, we expanded the number of people who work for BC Wildfire Service year-round,、uh, and uh, that really、uh, helped us this year in fighting the, fi- the kind of fires that we had. And the plan is to、uh, continue that growth of、uh, a permanent service. One of the things that the premier did after just a couple of weeks ago, although the wildfire season is not completely finished,、um, is appointed a task force to look into、um, this this、uh, this season's、uh, efforts to fight fires, some of the uh, uh, questions that arose, and some of the. The issues about how we could better prepare the province for the future、um, are all of those are being addressed by a task force that includes、uh, a wide range of people,、uh, whether it's communities, the wildfire service,、uh, internal pe- people, and well as、uh, regional districts uh, um, and um, other concerned citizens who who are concerned about the impact of climate change and how. That might again make、uh, what was a tough fire, a very tough、uh, wildfire season this year, become almost uh, um, predictable in the future. BC 大学医学院副教授 Sarah Henderson 强调 ，BC 省未来将要面对更多林火出现，但亦都要避免出现无为而治，各方面都要谂办法减低任何风险。We have first, we have to accept that. We're looking at a future with more fire because of all the things we've already discussed. But that doesn't mean we should、uh, stop trying <laughs> to reduce wildfire and its impact. So, for you know those areas where where they are at that interface between the wildland and the urban areas. You know, people should be taking precautions around their homes to reduce wildfire risk. And there's a program in Canada called Fire Smart, and it kind of lays out if you live in one of those areas the things that you can do to reduce the wildfire risk to your home. So you know, more people using those Fire Smart principles. The research in this area shows that we should be clearing quite a lot of land between communities and forests to make a fire break, so that if there is a wildfire in the forest, it can't easily reach the community.、Um, so people sort of suggest making something that looks like a golf course around every community. 好啦，今集嘅節目時間又差唔多啦。咁如果觀眾對我哋嘅節目有啲乜嘢意見嘅話，係好歡迎大家以電郵嘅方式同我哋聯絡噶。
。我哋嘅電郵地址係 m a g 2 6 at fairchildtv.com。如果觀眾想上網重温翻今集嘅節目，亦都可以上到去我哋嘅網站三個 w d o t f a i r c h i l d t v c o m 點擊節目重温一欄就可以睇得翻噶啦。下星期同一時間再同大家見面，晚安。